From the airport, we took the train going to the city center of Brussels. It was only a 15-minute train ride. We booked our train tickets online to save time. The only difference of first and second class is the electric plug. Second class seats are very comfortable and spacious. The first thing that I'm gonna do here in Brussels is to buy chocolates. It was so difficult for me to choose which chocolates I should buy, but the lady was very helpful. If you are going to visit multiple cities, then buying the rail pass is the right choice. It is a money-saving pass and can be used by one or more people. Location wise, it's the best, I think, and also it's not very expensive. And they have 24 hour reception. I'm going to eat my first Belgian fries. The first place we visited was, of course, the very famous Grand Place. The Grand Place is a central square of the city of Brussels. All over the world, it is known for its decorative and aesthetic wealth. It is considered as one of the most beautiful places in the world. The Grand Place is also a UNESCO World Heritage. Just a walking distance from the Grand Place, you'll find the Waffle Factory. Now I'm going to eat my first authentic Belgian waffle. The mannequin piece is highly visited by curious visitors, but don't get disappointed because it isn't that big. It measures 61 centimeters, depicting a naked little boy urinating into a fountain's basin. Occasionally, the mannequin piece will be dressed in exotic costume, however, he was naked when we saw him. Although Brussels is a small city, there are plenty of areas waiting to be explored. Stroll in Brussels' small streets and there will always be things to be discovered. For the beer lovers, or even if you're not, Delirium Beer Cafe is worth trying. It holds a Guinness World Record for the most beers offered with 2,004 beers around the globe. I'm not a huge fan of beers, but I loved the ones that we ordered and miraculously finished it. Just outside the Delirium Cafe, you can find the Geneke piece, a modern fountain which was intended to form a counterpoint to the city's mannequin piece.
The St. Michael and St. Gudula Cathedral of Brussels is located in the vicinity of the Grand Place. This Gothic cathedral has a beautiful architecture. It is the church that the marriages of kings of Belgium take place. Brussels is the capital of the European Union and behind me are the offices of the European Commission. We spent our afternoon at this park while waiting for the sunset. The park is dominated by a triumphal arc with three arches. The park hosts numerous events throughout the year.